USB-C on iPhone is a big deal, but what's even bigger is the implication that it has on iPhone as a whole. Based on Apple's implementation of USB-C, as well as some of the other things they discussed during the keynote, Apple is planning a pretty interesting future for the iPhone, but in order to understand this, we need to first go back to 2018. 2018 was the year that Apple released the iPhone XS lineup. At this point, Apple introduced the iPhone XR as a more quote-unquote budget-friendly iPhone since there was so much backlash over the iPhone X's $300 price increase. But it was the iPhone 11 lineup in particular that was going to shake things up in a pretty interesting way. Rather than position the budget iPhone 11 as the budget option, Apple instead chose to position it as just the iPhone 11, the base model. That's it. The real upgrade that year was the 11 Pro, as this was the direct successor to the 10s. Same phones, pretty much, just the shift in naming. But this did end up creating a little bit of a problem, because Apple intended for the Pro name to be sort of an indicator that it was the better version of the base iPhone 11. But what it actually did was lead people to wonder whether the Pro iPhone was actually intended for professionals. The Verge wrote, quote, Semantically, the Pro title is less about being a device specifically for professionals, and more about applying the mystique of the modern creative professional to imply that the new version is better than the regular version. In other words, pro doesn't necessarily mean pro, it just means better. This trend continued on for the next few years, with Apple still positioning the pro models as pretty much just the better version of the base model. But then, 2023 changed everything. This was officially the year that Apple was fully positioning the Pro lineup as devices specifically targeted for professional photographers and videographers. Enter the iPhone 15 Pro, complete with professional color grading, direct recording to a Mac or external storage drive, and above all, a USB-C port with USB 3 speeds powered by the A17 Pro chipset. And what was significant about this change in particular was that Apple was given the base iPhone 15 slower USB speeds. In fact, the USB C ports on the base iPhone are effectively just lightning ports shaped like USB-C. But it's details like this that show us what Apple really has planned for the future. Everything that Apple touted, professional color grading standards, AV1 decoders, focal lengths in the camera app, recording in Pro Raw, 4K60, USB 3.0 speeds, all of this shows us that Apple truly wants to make the iPhone a professional device, effectively separating the base iPhone from the Pro. But that being said, even if you're not a professional, Apple still wants to sell you a pro model. They weren't shy about advertising the next generation of mobile gaming that they announced with the iPhone 15 Pro, and even with all the focus toward professionals, Apple still wants to entice the average buyer to stick with the pro models. I actually went into this topic further in this video right here, where I also talk about three other things that Apple has planned for the future of the iPhone, so go check that video out next, and I'll see you over there. Adios.